fentanyl laced drugs, three arrests, and a 17 and a half year prison sentence. The fallout has been dramatic since Mac Miller's shocking death in 2018. Rapper Mac Miller had recently dropped his fifth album, Swimming, when he unexpectedly died on September 7, 2018. Born Malcolm McCormick, the Pittsburgh native was hailed for his throwback style and collaborated with the likes of Kendrick Lamar, Anderson Pack, and many more. Miller was also open about his drug problems in his lyrics. At one point, he had been using daily. In the last years of his life, he was sober on and off. I had a drug problem, you know. Pitchfork reported that despite rave reviews for his latest album, 2018 was a rough year for Miller. His long-term relationship with pop star Ariana Grande had come to an end allegedly because of his drug use. Miller was arrested for a DUI shortly after. However, after the release of Swimming, he was prepping for a tour and was said to be feeling his best for the first time in years. Thus, it was a complete shock for Miller's family and friends and fans when he died at 26. His lifeless body had been found by his personal assistant at his Studio City, California home. An unnamed source told People, everyone who we worked with was aware that he was delicate, but thought it was because of the new album, Nerves, nothing like this. Just the night before, Miller had spoken to his mom on the phone and had been watching football. Both his mother and personal assistant said Miller was in a good mood the night before his death for the Associated Press. However, his assistant noted that Miller had recently gone on a few drug binges. According to AP News, a coroner's report concluded that Miller died from an accidental overdose caused by a mix of cocaine, alcohol, and fentanyl. His autopsy ruled mixed toxicity as the cause of his death. Miller had been using the drugs recreationally. Although his personal assistant did CPR, paramedics arrived quickly and declared him dead only 16 minutes after 911 had been called. Drug paraphernalia, an empty liquor bottle, and a $20 bill with white residue were found at the scene. TMZ states that bottles of Xanax, oxycodone, hydrocodone, Adderall, and two baggies with white powder were present. The autopsy noted that Miller's body was covered in tattoos, including one that read, only so much time left in this crazy world. For the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner coroner, Miller's death was ruled an accident. Fox 11 states that fentanyl is 50 times more potent than heroin. Turnbridge explains that only 2 milligrams, the equivalent of a pinch of salt of the substance, are deadly. When taken together, cocaine and fentanyl create a deadly cocktail. While cocaine is an upper that stimulates the body, fentanyl is a complete opposite. Ultimately, the combination of the drugs can make the user unaware that something has gone wrong until it's too late. The Pittsburgh Post-Gazette reported three men were later arrested and charged in connection to Miller's death a year later. Investigators determined that Stephen Walter, Cameron Pettit, and Ryan Revis had provided the drugs that ultimately ended the young rapper's life. Although Walter did not supply the drugs directly, he knowingly and intentionally gave them to Revis, who then gave the drugs to Miller's dealer, Pettit. Walter did this despite knowing that they were laced with fentanyl. Miller, however, believed he had purchased oxycodone from Pettit. Unbeknownst to him, he had bought a counterfeit version. According to Fox 11, Miller died only two days after buying the counterfeit drugs. Turnbridge reports that dealers use fentanyl because it's cheaper to make than other drugs. Furthermore, it can keep a customer coming back for more as it is highly addictive. Tragically, Miller is not the only celebrity who has died of a fentanyl overdose. Prince and Tom Petty both died as a result of the drug. The publication notes that fentanyl is known for providing a euphoric high and severe withdrawal symptoms. In May 2022, Walter pled guilty to the distribution of fentanyl and was sentenced to 17 and a half years in prison for his role in Miller's death. KTLA reported that Rivas pled guilty to the same charge and was handed a 131-month sentence. As for Pettit, NBC News reports that he has pled not guilty and is still awaiting his sentencing trial at the time of this video. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.